a couple of reasons. Um, I was going to be teaching, I was developing a course, Dance History, that I had inherited that I was wanting to change up and really think about it. it it's a writing intensive course. And I really wanted to think about how to teach writing um, in a way that um, students could really pay attention to the text that they were reading in order to um, learn from the writing strategies of those authors and then uh, incorporate them into their own writing. So that was one thing that was exciting to me. And another was just really focusing on how do you read uh, the, one of these university level texts? Uh, it's hard enough to read by yourself. <laughs> And so when you get to read with your, um, with co-students, uh, it's really wonderful um, for the students to share their knowledge with each other. Um, so I wanted to incorporate, um, one, this cooperative learning model that I used to use when I taught elementary school. And also I used to teach reading. So I had all this training on comprehension strategies. Um, and so I would include that as, as prompts for students to annotate. So things like using prior knowledge, you know, what's familiar, um, identifying the main idea or the argument, um, asking questions, what's new to you, um, making connections. And then another time we had a an annotation based on what in this reading sparks your curiosity. So that that's how I got it, it, excited about all of this.